So now to uh, conclude this session, uh, the first thing I would like to do is uh, just show you a couple of slick tools. One is the playback feature. What the playback feature does, this allows you to walk through step by step and see how this wave was constructed. Now, the beauty of this is if you want to see how students are constructing knowledge, you can actually walk through step by step and see and identify specifically how they are constructing their knowledge as well as, as how they're interacting with other individuals. Um, one of the shortcomings of this tool is the bigger the wave gets, the longer it takes to download everything. Uh, so don't expect that if you've got a thousand slides in here that everything is going to work immediately. Uh, it's not quite to that point yet. Uh, the other thing to remember is this tool is in beta. Uh, some of the problems that I've experienced is every once in a while, uh, Wave gets a blip and has to be refreshed. Um, there was an instance where this uh, recording tool was having a uh, problem with one of the vendors they were working with, and they had to go back and rebuild and, and restructure the way that they used this tool, so it wasn't available to me for a while. Now I was able to quickly identify another tool that I could use in its place, although uh, it didn't offer me the flexibility that, uh, that I wanted with this particular lesson plan. Um, something else to keep in mind is using a tool like Six Rounds. A lot of emerging research on computer-mediated technologies with using video uh, for learning is actually beginning to show a correlation, especially with foreign language learners, of having the same effects as being in a classroom and overall student satisfaction and higher performance. So this is a huge plus. And, but something else to keep in mind though, and, and as I've referenced, this is a beta tool. Everything in here that I have shown you is available for free. So I have not had to spend any money for any of these tools. Now, keep that in mind when you decide to use a tool like this, uh, that there are going to be bumps in the roads and you may have to go back and restructure and rethink how you are working something. Um, but some of the other advantages are the real-time translation tools, uh, the voice over uh, tools, all of these are extremely beneficial with foreign language learners especially if I'm in a school district that has very limited resources and let's use for an example let's say I get a Korean student uh, who speaks very little English and there's nobody in my district that is currently available that speaks Korean if I know somebody a district over that does have a resource and they also have access to this tool I now have re a resource at least virtually that I did not have available in my district. So it's the student that benefits. Um, so would I encourage people to use this tool? Absolutely. Uh, but I would only encourage people to use this tool if uh, yourself and your students are very patient and have the capability to work through and restructure. Um, this lends itself to a variety of, of types of, of learning styles as well as learners. And uh, it's, it, is, it is just amazing what you can and cannot do with this tool. So if anybody has any questions, please feel free to either send me an email at info at edutechnologic.com. That's info at edutechnologic.com. Uh, leave me a message on the blog. I'll be more than happy to respond to you, answer questions. Uh, if, you re if you would like some assistance, on just reviewing something, I would be more than happy to give you some input or even to add you to uh, any of these waves. So I strongly encourage you just to go out there, just get familiar with the tools, learn it, play with it, see what happens. So I hope you uh, have enjoyed this and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day.